Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Oh, hi, Pat. Oh, Help me. Scouting me. Nice to see you this time. You're doing fool with Beppo anymore, Beppo. Stop, stop it, Beppo. You, you really hurt the major. Let him go, Beppo. This has gone far enough. It's none of your business, Johnny. It is my business when murder is being committed. Now stop. Think what you're doing. Please let him go, Beppo. Oh. Oh, help! Have you had enough? Of course he has. Now be sensible, Beppo. Help the major out of that tub. I'll help you, major. I think you listen to Beppo next time. Oh, oh! Shut up! I give you more. Now, now, take it easy, Beppo. There you are, Major. Here's my handkerchief. Wipe your face. Uh, thank you, Jerry. My eyes, oh, how they burn! Well, it's just the soap water. They'll be all right. Yes, you will live, but you won't forget Beppo. Let him alone now. You better get over to your tent and get into some dry clothes, Major. Uh, can you get over there by yourself? <coughs> yes, I. <laughs> I should say you two are acting like children. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It wasn't my fault, Johnny. I tell you, he had it in for me. Now, wait a minute, Major. We saw the whole thing. Jerry and I were standing right over there by that wagon. And it seems to me you made an awful fuss about getting a few drops of water splashed on you. That's a lie. All I said was it's a pity a person can't walk across this lot without getting wet. You make a big amount about little water, so I give you lots of water. Uh, to tell you the truth, I think you both are at fault. You men let your tempers get the best of you too easily. Now, why don't you forget it all and uh, shake hands? Me? Shake hands with that demon? I'll get even yet. Don't forget next week, Beppo. Beppo, no, forget. Beppo, sorry for the poor Major next week. Now, Major, now, Beppo. I'm an old man. I shake hands. See, Major, Beppo's willing to make up and forget. Come on, Major. There's no use you two being enemies. Shake hands now and forget it, and try to control your tempers in the future. Well... Come on, Major. All right. I'm sorry it happened, Major. I guess I was a little hasty. Maybe it was all my fault. Your fault? No, 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 no. It was my fault. No, Beppo. I'm to blame. It was my fault for kicking about a few drops of water. I tell you it was my fault. No, it was my fault. Beppo knows. I tell you I am to blame. It was not your fault. I am to blame. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen. Here, here. Is this starting all over again? Now you better get over to your tent and get into some dry clothes, Major. Why, the midway is about to open. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Beppo. I'm sorry, but remember next week. Okie dokie, I'm sorry too, Major. We no fight no more. Uh, not until the next week, anyway. Golly, it's getting late. I gotta get over to the horse stand and help Whitey. Say, what have they got up their sleeves? I don't know, Jerry, but I wouldn't worry about it. You run along, but not a word about this to anybody. Do you hear? You mean about Major Might and Beppo fighting? It isn't good business to carry stories around the lot. Well, I won't say a word. <laughs> good boy. I guess I'd better get ready, too. Well, so long, Beppo. And we won't say anything to anybody about this. That's the good. Goodbye. i got to hurry now. See you later. Right, Jerry. I'll see you after the show. Hey, boy. Where's the fire? There's no fire. Somebody chasing you? No, I'm just in a hurry. Oh. I I'm late. Yeah, I'll say you're late, Jerry. What's been holding you up? Golly, I... I'm sorry, Whitey. Yeah, it must have been something awful interesting to make you late. You've never done this before. Uh-uh. 
I just forgot, I guess. Well, it's all right, Jerry. No harm, then. In fact, there's not a whole lot for you to do. I, I won't be late again. Oh, forget it. Come on into the tent. Have the horses all got enough water? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, I'll tell you what you might do, though. What? Uh, how about you brush and splinter down a little? Why? Oh, no particular reason. He's a little dusty since he's been riding him around a lot the last few days. Besides, uh, I think he'd uh, like you to brush him down. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll get the horses out for the pageant, all right. Say, Whitey. Yes, yeah, Jerry? What's this horse's name? Uh, that one there is Bella. She works in the statue act. Yeah, I know, and she sure can't hold still, can't she? Yep, one of the best I've ever seen for that line of work. She's pure white, too. Well, almost. Well, what do you mean, almost? Oh, I have to touch her up and cover up a couple of dark spots. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, how do they ever teach a horse to hold still like Bella does in the act? Well, Jerry, I guess the horse has to have that in her from the start. And then, of course, a little sugar at the finish of each trick helps to keep them steady. When do they get the sugar? When they're all through work? No. You, you've seen the statue act, haven't you? Yeah. Well, uh, you notice the ringmaster blows a whistle and then the curtain goes up. And then the uh, two men, the two girls, and the dog and Bella here strike a pose and hold real still for about a minute. Yeah. Well, then the ringmaster blows the whistle again and the curtain goes down. Yeah, I know. Well, that's when Bella, Bella gets that piece of sugar. When, when the curtain goes down between each trick. Oh, so that's how they do it. Mm-hmm. She holds real still because she knows she'll get the sugar. That's it, exactly. But it's not as easy as it sounds. Oh, it took a lot of training. I guess it did. She holds so still you can hardly see her breathe. And the funny part of it is that Bella used to be a fire horse. No. <laughs> yep, that's what she was, all right. I bet if someone rang a bell while she was old and still in the act, she'd start to run. No, she wouldn't. Not now. You see, Jerry, when they first started to train her to hold still, they'd get her up in a pose and then they'd try to get her excited. They'd have dogs bark at her, and they'd shoot guns off, yes, and even ring bells until she got used to all that and paid no attention to it. The more I hear about horses, the smarter I think they are. Oh, they're smart animals. Yes, sir, there's no two ways about it. I guess with patience, you can teach a horse to do most anything. Why, I wouldn't be surprised if you could teach a horse that... Uh Uh-oh, there there goes the bugle. I better get these trappings on the parade horses right now. I nearly forgot it was showtime standing here talking to you. Okay, I'll brush Splendor now. Hello there, Splendor. Want to get a good brushing? Kind of glad to see me, aren't you? Oh, still now, Splendor. You know, Splendor, I think you're going to be a wonderful trick horse when you grow up. Yes, sir. Folks will be talking about you someday, like we were talking about Bella. Only they won't be talking about how still you hold. No, siree. They'll be saying, there goes Splendor, the great high jumper. Well, yeah, they can start the show any time now. I'm all ready. It doesn't take you long to get the horses ready. Well, what's the matter? You getting tired? Uh-uh. Just winded. Oh, don't work so hard. You don't have to get Splendor ready before the show. Why, well, you're going at that brushing like you only had five minutes to do it in. Maybe someday I will be getting Splendor ready to go out into the ring. Yeah, yeah. When he learns a few tricks, he'll want to show off. You want to get out there with the rest of the horses and get some of that applause. I bet he'll get a lot of applause, too. He sure will. Well, here comes the hustlers now, and the show's about to start. I'll see you later, Jerry. Okay. Now I'll brush your neck, huh? Well, we can't do with that old rope around it, can we? Here, now, I'll take it off. I don't know why you have to be tied up anyway. You're not going anyplace, are you? There we are. That feels better, huh? Poor little fella, tied up all the time. Now I'll give your neck a good brushing. There they go, Splendor, out to do the parade. Oh, you'd like to be going out under the big top with them, huh? Oh, oh, Splendor. Take it easy now. You're not going with them. Oh, still. How can I brush you? Oh, here now. Where are you going? Sure, I better put that rope back around your neck. Splendor, come here. Splendor, Splendor, don't follow those horses. Hey, wait. Come back, Splendor. Golly, he's going to follow all those horses into the ring if I don't catch him. Whoa, Splendor. Whoa, Splendor. Come back here. Whoa, Splendor. Splendor. What's the matter, Jerry? Oh, Mr. Bradley, Splendor just ran into the ring with the rest of the horses. You mean that little colt has gone into the parade? Yeah, he ran away from me and followed the other horses. I I saw him run right after them through the back door here. come on. Let's have a look. Oh, golly, look. There he is running right after the Arabians. He's pretty excited, too. Oh, that little colt isn't used to all those lights and the music. Where's Whitey? Oh, I don't know, but golly, what'll I do? You better find Whitey, Jerry, or get someone to go in there and grab Splendor and take him out of that ring before the elephants go around. Well, he's too little to be in there loose. Someone should be leading him. I know it, but golly. Look, Jerry. What? He's stopping now. And he's turning around and coming the other way. 
Oh, Mr. Bradley. Then here come the elephants now, and he's heading right for them. They might hurt him. Why doesn't somebody save him? I guess no one has noticed him yet. I'm going in there and get him myself. I, I've got it. Be careful, Jerry. Don't run out there in front of those elephants. Jerry, I, Jerry, come I, back. I've got to save Flanders. What's the trouble, Tommy? Oh, it's Jerry. Just look at that boy run out in front of that herd of elephants. Well, he's trying to head off that little colt. Yes, he's got him. He's got him. Good boy, Jerry. Look at that boy. He's jumped up on that pony and he's riding him off in front of the elephant. And bareback, too. I've seen a lot of sights around the circus, but never a thrill like this. Listen to that audience. Why, they think it's part of the show. Say, that boy is all right. That a boy, Jerry. Oh, 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 good boy, Jerry. Good boy. You took an awful chance, but I guess it was worth it, huh? Here, I'll help you down. Splendor was heading right for the elephant. Did you see him? <laughs> you bet we did. And we saw a mighty fine piece of work. You were running in there just in time and getting Splendor out of that way. Why, you took a, it, it took a lot of nerve, Jerry. Shucks, that was nothing. I, I couldn't stand here and see Splendor get hurt. Oh, you took an awful big chance of getting hurt yourself. And boy. maybe killed. Yeah, you must think an awful lot of that pony to do what you did. I do. I wonder if Mr. Randall was in the house to see it. Golly, you don't think he was, do you? Well, I, I don't know, Jerry. I know I shouldn't have gone into the ring, but somebody had to do something. Golly, Splendor, why did you run after those horses? If, if you'd behave yourself, this wouldn't have happened. Well... Too late to talk about it now, Jerry. It's all over. I wonder what Whitey will say. I guess I shouldn't have untied Splendor. Uh-oh. Here comes Whitey now. Sorry. Jerry! Jerry! Yes, sir? Now, what on earth happened? Uh, gee, Whitey, I, I'm awful sorry. All right, all right. But come on now, Jerry. Tell me what happened. Well, I... I mean, I untied Splendor's holler so I could break his neck and... Well, when he heard the other horses going out, he ran after him and... I tried awful hard to stop him. Honest, I did. He did a swell job of getting that colt out of the way of those elephants, Whitey. Yeah, that's what the boys tell me. Mm -hmm. I didn't think Splendor'd run away. I, I thought he'd just stand still and let me brush him. Yeah, there's no telling what a spirited colt like Splendor will do, Jerry. That's why I keep him tied up all the time. It'll never happen again, Whitey. Honest. Well, I should hope not. Now, you better get Splendor tied up in a tent again. This is no place for him standing here by the back door. Yes, sir. Mm, I'll have to make a report of this to Mr. Randall. Aw, oh, gee, Whitey. I'm mm, sorry, Jerry. But orders is orders. Go on, get over to the horse top now with that colt. He's had enough excitement for one day. Come on, Splendor. 